Good morning! Well, today's video is another request. Um, I am so happy to take requests, so if there's a video that, uh, or a section of the uh, story that you'd like to see, or a specific kind of item, please let me know in the comments or send us an email, and uh, yeah, we'll try to fit it in. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the video today, um, somebody requested to see display storage. Uh, so I will qualify that by saying we don't have a display storage section here at the warehouse. So um, it took a little bit of creativity on my part trying to find some things that might work. And uh, uh, I am not an interior designer, but, uh, but this is kind of what I was looking for. Uh, something that had um, shelves and obviously those shelves um, having some sort of uh, way to show the contents that were on them. Um, bonus if they had lights. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so that's what I'll be showing you today. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, I think, honestly, when I was thinking about um, display storage, I think probably the best piece of furniture that we have here in the warehouse for that is china cabinets. I mean, hear me out on this. If you have a collection that you want to display, especially if you have a large collection, you have the space at the top um, that is enclosed and uh, will get dusty, <laughs> um, which is really, really nice. And then if you have a particularly large collection that um, won't all fit in one spot, you have the bottom portion of the um, formerly china cabinet, now display cabinet, <laughs> to, uh, to put the rest of your collection that will fit. So you can still keep it all in one spot and then um, switch out items as, uh, as, you, as you like. And then you also get to interact with your collection on a regular basis as well. So that uh, I think makes it a little more, um, well, yeah, more part of your life. Um, so yeah, I think china cabinets are great for display storage. Um, we have a lot of really, really great ones. I'll show you some of the ones here that are that is in the uh, that are in the furniture section, um, and then there are a bunch more in the store. Um, so uh, if you are interested in a china cabinet for china or for display storage of a collection in general, um, yeah, come to the warehouse any day between 12 and 5 p.m. and uh, and check them out. There's there's uh, cabinets of all different shapes, sizes, and styles. So um, if, yeah. You, you can probably find what you're looking for. <laughs> so yes, China cabinets, some really great ones. Um, I love the arches on this one and the arch top. This one um, is very ornate. Isn't that great? Only 165 and it's got a really great uh, kind of leaded glass window vibe. <laughs> um, this one I love, I mean it has glass shelves so those are in the bottom you can put together. And uh, I think I put this one on a video before. I'm surprised it hasn't sold because it is, uh, it has a lot of really cool features. Uh, but really beautiful hardware. And uh, I love the uh, um, the, uh, the columns there. Um, and all of these, I mean, they would look really great painted as well. So if you don't like the, the finish, um, you can get creative. Uh, secondly, for display storage, I consider, how about uh, an armoire? I mean, it depends on what you're, um, what you're displaying, but I mean, these I think are uh, creative for televisions, but you could always remove the doors or you could uh, fit glass doors on there. And uh, yeah, and then you have a, a large shelf um, for uh, yeah for your collection. Um, you can always also put uh, lighting on the top to uh, um, to better display it. Uh, so armoires um, or um, television centers would be great for display storage with a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of work. Um, this one is only thirty five bucks, so um, it would be yeah it, it would be worth your while. <laughs> um, and then shelves, we have um, some really great shelves. Um, these are really interesting. There are two, there's this one here and there's another one down there, a little bit of different style. But what makes these interesting is that there's actually a light installed right here behind this shelf. So um, yeah, so great for display storage. You can put all sorts of cool stuff there and, uh, and highlight it. Um, if you don't like the finish again, this would be great for, for painting. It's 58 bucks. So, uh, so yeah, great for display storage um, or books. <laughs> Well, I don't know, display storage, I mean, I think the person specifically mentioned figurines, but I, I suppose you may also want to display your book collection. <laughs> so uh, the other thing I was thinking, um, we also have some of these great, um, I think this may also be a uh, um, kind of an entertainment center, but um, we also have some um, sideboards. Those two would be really good for, um, for display storage. This one has uh, glass doors, uh, some really great columns on the side, and I love those arches on the actual doors. Uh, yeah, so... Um, that would be great for, for display as well. Uh, we have a few pieces of um, just parts of, um, of China cabinet. So this is the top. Somebody, I think, uh, took, took the bottom. Um, it's got really cool doors. Check out this kind of like uh, um, 
uh, well, I don't know what to call it. It's just kind of like a, a crystallized version of an arch. <laughs> um, faceted, yeah, that seems to be the word this week. Um, and this would be great for storage too. You could build a base for it, maybe put it on legs to lift it up off the ground. Um, yeah, and, and um, put some shelves in there. And yeah, it'd be great for, for displaying what it'd be like. This is 35 bucks. Um, another, uh, another entertainment center. Um, then we have this little guy. Um, no clothes storage to go along with it, but man, if you just have a small, um, a small collection that you'd like to display, uh, this one is very, uh, very well sized for a small space. So it's a little bit taller than I am, but, uh, and that one is 55 bucks. Um, <laughs> I love these, these dressers. They're they're so uh, exuberant. We had a matching uh, armoire that went with them, but that that has sold. Um, I can't walk by them without mentioning them. <laughs> Oh, and so this one, okay, um, I realize um, the color may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I actually really love it. Someone repainted it in this kind of like stressed um, finish. Um, I, I think it's great. I really, really love moody furniture, and I think this is about as moody as, uh, as it gets in this kind of like deep olive color. Um, so yeah, I mean, it really transforms the way uh, a piece of furniture looks um, with paint. So, uh, so yeah, you can think about that when you see the other ones or some more... Uh, um, Chinese cabinets that we have, but this one I think is uh, is really great. Uh, so yeah, let's let's keep going. There's a lot of uh, um, a lot of different storage options. These are some more closed storage, but again, um, if you are interested in open storage, you could always replace the doors or just take them off. Um, if you have an industrial vibe home, I love this kind of vintage-looking shelf with the different color um, different color shelves: the gray, and then the yellow, and then those red um, support bars in the back. Uh, that'd be great for a uh, display as well. Um, this one over here, um, I think it's a sideboard, uh, but it's got great glass doors. Um, it also has, um, I think that was maybe wine storage there in the middle, uh, but you could either uh, put a little curtain on there or you could put some doors on there and that could be your closed storage for your collection. Um, or you could leave it open and display more stuff there. So another great option for, uh, for display. Um, then we have a few of this. I think this is a baker's rack. Isn't that what those are called when the top is smaller than the back? We got a baker's rack there in the front and another kind of industrial storage shelf in the back. This, oh, okay. So I just want to show you this. This is not, um, I mean, you probably could make it into storage, but this is really, really cool. I love the idea of putting um, of, of this for a collection. So check it out. Um, it's, I think it's um, kind of like a, a dresser, but look at all these great drawers. All these great cubbies, perfect for um, storing all sorts of stuff. And oh yeah, and it's got a little catch here, I forgot. So yeah, that's great. It really, it needs some work. Um, the the, the hardware is kind of falling apart and the finish is a little uh, a little rough. But um, yeah, it's 85 bucks and it would be such a great project. Um, if I had room in my house, I would take it on because it has so many cool little features. Um, yeah, and this is another great one. And then here, this is uh, just a shelf. So uh, if you're um, it's more open display, this is eight bucks. So that would work out well too. And then this one here, you gotta see this. This is kind of cool. It's actually got a, uh, instead of an arch, it has like a, a, a peak, like a house. Uh, but I should point out that this one is sold, but it's a really good time to mention that if you come here to the warehouse and find something you like, we do offer five days of free storage. We'll put a sold sticker on it after you buy it. And then, uh, yeah, you can arrange for transportation and come back anytime within five days um, between 12 and 5 p.m., our open store hours, and uh, yeah, and, and pick back up. So, so that helps. You can come and browse without needing to arrange for transportation right away. Um, and then here's another um, kind of open storage rack as well. So yeah, I, I think that's kind of a whirlwind uh, <laughs> tour of some of the storage pieces. Uh, you can come to the warehouse and see everything we've got, all kinds of furniture, appliances, cabinets, lighting, um, all the good stuff. Uh, we're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. So, all right. Well, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a good day.